Williamston kicked off their Red Cedar Jubilee Saturday, and this year marks a milestone for the event and the city. The Jubilee goes on for over a week, which means preparations are still underway for the different activities to make sure everything is clapped up to where it's supposed to be. Down at the Grand River Laundry Mat in Williamston. The washing machines are hard at work doing what they do best. It's great to be able to do something fun, uh, you know, for the community. The Williamston Rotary Club is getting ready for the 50th annual Red Cedar Jubilee. This year's theme is happy birthday because it is the Jubilee's 50th birthday and the city's 150th birthday. By washing <laughs> ducks. The ducks have been sitting in barrels in the shed for two years. Oh, this is, a, this is funny. Rubber ducks. We even got behind their ears. 4,000 to be exact. To get them ready for the duck race next Saturday, August 7th. Instead of throwing them in by handfuls, they started to wing it. But sometimes, that wasn't all it was quacked up to be. <laughs> this was a fun thing to do. Patricia Murphy already bought her ducks. I actually bought the flock of five. And hopes to win the $1,000 grand prize. I have a couple boys in college and it'd be great to, you know, have a little bit of money to help pay for expenses. Murphy says she's hoping for good vibes on race day. Good vibes into the world and of course, to the ducks. <laughs> After being canceled last year, I'm obviously excited about it. It's awesome. We're all pretty happy. Jubilee Secretary Dan Ryan says putting it together this year had to include some new events. We've got some really cool surprises that uh, you're really not going to want to miss. I'm not going to spoil it. Community Boy, members girl. like Cloyce O'Dell <laughs> are excited for it to be back. I'm really excited about it. He loves the Jubilee so much. I really enjoy all the events that goes on here. He's been to... This is my 50th year that I've been here every year since I started. Every single one. They don't know what they're missing if they don't come. It's really good. Duck Race Chair James Conroy says it's been nice to see everyone excited about the Jubilee again. It's really been great to see how excited people are to be able to open up and come out and give back to the community. In the 22 years that Rotary has done the duck race, we've returned over $450,000 to the community. And that's what really this is all about. Now that the ducks are out of their own quarantine and squeaky clean, we're hoping there won't be a single lonely ducky unsold. It's just down to maybe I'll sleep with my ticket under my pillow. How lucky <laughs> are you feeling? I'm feeling very lucky. <laughs> the duck race will take place next Saturday, meaning you still have time to take a quack at your luck. A full list of events for the Jubilee can be found in this story on Fox 47 news.com.